Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Onset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, pass it on to somebody else, and drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And please stick around to the end because I have two positive comments to read after today's talk. So, Today, let's talk about something that's very interesting. I was talking to a guy, okay? This guy is a Pisces, and he's a nice guy. I like him a lot. He's very nice. And he said to me that he's in a relationship with an Aquarius woman. Now, this is a serious relationship, long-term. Um, they have never broken up. I think he said, um, I'm trying to remember, what, he, it's been years. Either he says six or seven years. It's been a while. And they've been together. They've been through a lot of ups and downs. They've continuously been together, though. And he said to me that he wanted to talk to me because he can't talk to his friends. He can't tell his friends about how he feels because they'll think that, you know, he's, you know, oh, he said he says soft. OK, so basically he doesn't want his friends to think that he, you know, is a wuss, <laughs> basically, which I didn't. You know, I think that that's one of the things that we do to men that's really messed up. We tell them to not have feelings, act hard, act tough, be a man. And then when they act like tyrants or they do something we don't like, we're like, oh, you're not compassionate. You're not sensitive enough. And it's like, which one is it? If we're not going to allow them to have their feelings and explore their feelings, then we can't expect them to be sensitive when we want them to be. You know, I think everybody is entitled to their feelings. So anyway, he said that he didn't want to talk to his friends about it because of that reason. So he said that basically what's going on is that the Aquarius does and says certain things not on purpose that really hurt his feelings. He said that, you know, um, he said something to her on several different occasions about different things, but he doesn't harp on it. You know, he'll say something in passing or something like that, but they never really had a conversation about it. And he said, Queen, I don't understand why she is always saying some shit out her mouth that, that hurts my feelings. And he was like, I hate to admit that it hurts my feelings, but it does. And he said, why is that? Like, doesn't she see that what she's saying and doing can be hurtful to some people? And I was like, you know, number one, she's probably not. Nine times out of 10, she's probably not thinking that it's hurtful to you. Aquarius have this way of playing. We're very playful kind of people. I was telling somebody today, I always got jokes, you know, we're playful. A lot of us are very playful. So she may say something to you that she doesn't think is harmful. And this is what I've come, when I've talked to Aquarius, because a lot of Aquarius are known for this foot in the mouth syndrome is what I call it. And a lot of Aquarius are accused of this. And when I talk to the Aquarius and I say, why would you say that? Why would you do that? It's always like, oh, I, I'm just playing. Or I didn't think it was a big deal. Or he or she didn't say anything. Or, you know, they always come off with this response like, it wasn't a big deal. That's not how I meant it. I wasn't trying to be offensive. I was just joking, you know? And a lot of times, that's all it is. The Aquarius is just insensitive to the fact that certain things may hurt another person's feelings. Aquarius aren't always the most considerate in that area, and we don't always notice it. So like he said, he said he only said something a handful of times. So let's say that she's made an off-color comment 20 times. He said something three or four. So in the Aquarius's mind, it's not a big deal because you only said something three or four times. You don't, you know, I didn't said this for six years, <laughs> you know? I remember uh, one of the last times that I spoke to Voldemort. This is so funny, y'all. One of the last times I spoke to Voldemort, I said something to him that I said to him forever, <laughs> okay, forever. I met him before, I, I met Voldemort, let me see. It had to have been like 15, 16 years ago at this point. It's been a long time. And 
we had certain jokes. You know how a couple has jokes. So we had certain jokes. And one of the jokes I used to always say to him is, you're just like a doorknob. Anybody can have a turn. Now, I used to say that because Voldemort is a polyamorous person. Let's call it that. So I used to always say that he, we would laugh and joke about it. It was a big joke. It was always funny. Ha ha ha. Anybody can have a turn. He, 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 you know, and he would even joke about it and be like, yeah, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a glass doorknob. I'm a brass doorknob. You know, we would make little jokes about it and laugh and he, 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 the last time I spoke to him, which was like three or four years ago, no, closer to almost three years ago. I said something like that, something to that effect. And he was so offended. And I was sitting there like, we've been joking about this for over a decade, <laughs> at least over a decade. And now you're offended by it. So some of the times the Aquarius just doesn't pick up on that kind of thing. You know, I couldn't understand why he would be offended. And I didn't ask him either. I just thought it was him being sensitive, you know, being him, being an ass, you know. So I didn't really ask him. But the truth is, is that it might have always bothered him. It might have. And I just didn't pick up on it. You know, we might have been laughing and joking about it. And it might have been something that he didn't really like. Because I remember other things I used to say that he told me he didn't like. But that wasn't one of them. When I first met him, I used to always call him a Neanderthal. Because <laughs> some of his views on life were like something my great grandfather would say. You know, he had some old, old fashioned beliefs. And some of them I, I thought was cool. We agreed on it. Some of them were just like, oh my God, are you from the Stone Ages? And he told me it hurt his feelings when I would say that to him. So I stopped. So I'm thinking that nine times out of 10, your Aquarius does not know is hurting you. And you're not saying it to her in a way that she thinks that you're serious. If you mentioned it in 2001 and it's now 2020, you have not really shown her that it is a big deal to you. You know what I'm saying? So if I were you, Whatever those things are, I would sit and talk to her about them. And I would make, I would impress upon her that it's hurtful, that it really is hurtful, that I know that she's not trying to be hurtful, but that it does hurt my feelings. I would say that. I would even tell her, you know, I'm a man, you know, and I'm not trying to look like a wuss. I'm not trying to be whining. You know, I'm not trying to be that dude. But when you say certain things, it does bother me. And I've said something before, we've talked about it before, and you continue to keep on doing it. I didn't say anything about it, but it bothers me. It really hurts my feelings. And if she loves you the way that you say that she does, she'll stop. If an Aquarius really loves you and they really see that what they're doing is hurting you, they will stop. But you have to let them know. You have to let them know in no uncertain terms. And you can't be ambivalent about the message. It has to be, this bothers me. Please don't do it anymore. Period. You know? Because I've seen people go back and forth with this. Like the Aquarius would be doing something they don't like. They'll say something. Then one minute they don't say something. Like in his case, he let it slide for a couple of years. You can't do that with Aquarius. Don't let nothing slide with the Aquarius. Let her know that it hurts. Ask her to stop. And every time it comes up, reiterate it again. If she keeps doing it, reiterate it again until she stops. Because if she really cares about you, she's going to realize, you know what? I didn't peep that this was harmful to him. Let me stop doing this. And she might not see it at first because she's been doing it for so long. You said it's been like six, seven years. So she's been doing these things for so long that she might not stop cold turkey. You know, it might take a few times. But if you mention it calmly, logically, rationally, every time she does it, eventually she'll stop doing it because she'll be like, you know what? He keeps mentioning this. So this must really bother him. But you got to talk to her about it. You can't just keep letting it slide and hoping that one day she'll realize that it's hurtful and stop because she's not. I know a lot of people who have an Aquarius and they tell me their mouth 
I was just talking to my buddy the other day and she was like, girl, his mouth. <laughs> she was like, he's the love of my life, but his mouth make me want to kill him. And I'm like, I feel you, you know, and I'm sure in her case, I'm sure she's probably said it before. They've been together for a very long time. But you know what happens with a lot of couples after a long time? They let shit slide. You cannot do that with the Aquarius. Every time she says something that hurts you, say ouch. <laughs> okay? Let her know it hurts. And if a person really cares about you, if an Aquarius loves you, they will stop. If they, they don't even have to be in love. If they just care, you know, because when Voldemort told me that thing about being a Neanderthal, it was in the beginning when I first met him. And I wasn't, you know, I, was, I wasn't in love with him at that point. I just kind of liked him, you know, and I stopped. I completely stopped calling him that because he said that it really bothered him and it made him feel some type of way. So I stopped, you know, without being deeply invested, I was able to understand that and pull that energy back. So if you talk to her and she cares about you or she cares at all, she'll stop. Okay. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of my favorite comments. AC Dane. Hello, AC. How are you? Has received one of the highest number of hearts from me. I must give out a lot of hearts. That's really cool. I like that. Um, AC Dane publicly subscribed to me a year ago. Yes. Every time I watch your videos, your energy is so full of love and peace. You give me so much peace during times when I need it. Oh, I've had such a turbulent life. I've had so much drama and so much turbulence that I have spent the last, ever since I was about to turn 30. So I'm 43. So I spent the last like 13, 14 years trying to be in a space of just grounded and just at peace and happiness. And I finally, gradually, it wasn't even a finally, it was just gradually I've come to this space. And over the past like four years, I've been at my happiest, you know? So I, you probably see that come across on camera because um, I'm appreciative, man. <laughs> I'm so appreciative. I'm so glad just to be in a space of peace and away from the drama. I just, I'm just happy. I appreciate it 100%. And I'm glad that I'm able to bring some of that peace to you guys because I'm telling you, there was times in my life that were just so dramatic. <laughs> Sometimes just drama for no reason. Drama for the sake of drama. And I'm just so glad to be away from it. Then I got a message from Tomez O. Hey, Tomez O. Tomez said, last three days, I've been binge watching all of your videos. Love your channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I binge watch people too. So I know what that's like. You see something you like and you like, what else they talk about? What else they talk about? Um, I have a thousand some videos. So um, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of material out there for you. So thank you for watching. Thank you so much. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So um, listen, if you want to get a reading done, please email me and I will hook you up. All of my information is underneath this video. If you want to send me a gift, if you want to talk to me, if you want to buy some of my merchandise, I got some Ask an Aquarius merch. If you want to send me a donation, if you want to be a patron on Patreon, if you want anything, nine times out of 10, I'll put it underneath this video. Okay, guys, see you later.